Okay, so Mark wants me to try and break my neck. And, well, <laughs> so my poor NC two hundred. Oh. Hmm. That's oh okay. That's the SRAM for it. And here's the actual. This is the two. Yep. Yeah. Right. Something. Oh, oh that's the NC one hundred. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So I was about to. Make sure my Amstrad 6128 is still working, but Mark's all into Amstrad notepad computers now. <laughs> so that's my NC100. Needs. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Not sure what the hell this is. Oh, no, Brett. What the hell have you done, man? Okay, that is disappointing. I'm going to have to fix that up. But this is a... Um, mm, let me <laughs> clean my hands first. Okay, that is really disappointing that I've done that. Well, that's going to be fun to fix. Hmm, okay. So that's my NC100 with the... Uh, missing leg and they apparently took SRAM cards up to one megabyte so I've got two of those one megabyte SRAM cards okay oh, of course they also take button cells no doubt I've left one in there to rot and this is my this must be my NC200 that I started working on. So SRAM card goes in there. Okay, this takes bigger batteries. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So I've disconnected that. What's that from? Another SRAM card. Um, okay. <laughs> At least I haven't left batteries in there to, to rot. So I did have this great idea to replace the floppy drive with a GoTech, but this is back before the flash floppy days. So it wasn't so successful. That's the, that's the original floppy. That is, okay. The, okay, the screen and the other side of the case. Okay, all right. So, so yeah, so the floppy drive comes with a ribbon cable. So it's not so, you need a GoTech that's got one of those. Stick that back in the case. Regarding replacement ROMs, I am unsure because the, that's what the NC200's got. So that looks like memory there. Large capacitor. Doesn't look like it has, like the NC100. Oh man, I've got all this other stuff I'm supposed to be doing. Now I've got my NC100 to rescue. Oh my god, what a disaster. It doesn't look too bad. I've taken them out. I don't know what all this liquid is. But I think I might just pull it apart and just rinse it all, I guess. Um, button cell up here. Where your ROM is, I guess. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that. 
and keep this away from everything else. But yeah, I think I'll be uh, giving this all a good wash. That's the one that Mark's talking about that can be apparently replaced. Um, there'll be a screw up there, won't there? No, no, I've taken that screw out. Our oh, screws up here. Nineteen ninety-two. This is date marked. Screw there, screw there. Let's open the uh, battery back up again. A little bit more, there we go. Okay, well, no battery in there. But I left the double A's in there. Idiot. Mm-hmm. Oh, what a, what a disaster. Right, thanks to Mark. God knows how long those would have been sitting there if I hadn't gone and checked on them. Okay, so, yeah, so same like the NC200. Got the screen connected there. Let's connect that and the speaker. So that's the LCD drivers and stuff. Oof. So I'll remove those and give the plastic a wash, I think. That's the uh, the dummy for the SRAM. Well, no, the SRAM cartridge. So, okay. So, ugh. Oof. I wasn't planning on doing this. Okay, so you can see... Okay, so this is the NC100. You can see we've got the, that ROM there. Okay. So now let's get the NC200 out. And it's... Kind of totally different. Although, aha, there we go. Oh, there we go. So yeah, so that's where you can do the ROM. Hmm, cool, okay. I should really finish, finish these computers off because these are rather neat machines. You don't need the battery in there to they leak everywhere for several years. Okay, all right, that was a quick intro to the Amstrad Notepad computers, NC100 and NC200 that I've got. Ugh. So I've removed the, uh, the screen from the NC100 case and I'll give this a good wash to get all that battery liquid off. Um, NC200 is okay. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I need to pull apart my NC100. Um, it's looking a bit dodgy there. Um, yeah, well, I need to give, give the keyboard a good clean anyway. Um, yeah, so it'll be good to get these working again. I've been... Um, the idea with this was to replace the three on the NC200 was to replace the um, three and a half inch drive with a GoTech, but that was 10 years ago. Uh, I don't know, Flash Floppy was around? I don't know, but Flash Floppy's now around, so I might have more success.
But um, yeah, let's let's get the NC100 fixed up first, I think. Uh, get the motherboard out and the keyboard and then give this a good good clean. And then see what Mark's talking about, about replacing the, um, the ROM. Okay, but yeah, I'm also gonna I'm also gonna get the uh, I'm also gonna get this Moldovan computer working as well. Plus, get my Manistrad six one two eight working. Oh, and I need to get my my pet working as well. And oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> the list goes on. This is turning into a bit of an impromptu video. So I've got the top case off and washed. Uh, how do I get the keyboard off? Let's get those clips, maybe. That's the motherboard. Okay, that just okay. We've got clips here. Oh, we've got ribbon cables here for the keyboard connector. We come off gently. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, okay, battery connectors in there, so they need to slide up. Okay. What else is under here? The keyboard connectors don't really want to come off easily. Ugh. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's two. Okay, batteries out. The motherboard's connected to this bottom bit, which is underneath the keyboard as well. Nothing, nothing obvious. So maybe the keyboard's clipped in. Well, you can see the metal. Oh, your yeah, keyboard's clipped into this metal. Middle tray. So maybe the keyboard has to come. Okay, keyboard. Okay, keyboard's out. Keyboard is out. Maybe I can. Oh, okay, well, I don't know. All right, means I can get the motherboard out. With that metal backplate thing. There's the ROM. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like there's any kind of battery damage so much on it. And then definitely not putting it back down on there. That. Okay, and that's got all this liquid on the bottom here as well. So, you know, the battery connector. So I'll just basically give this a good, because this is just plastic. So I'll just give this a good blast. Okay. Okay, I think I've saved the NC100. <laughs> this is all that's left is the keyboard. Um, I'd be tempted just to blast this under the water, but because it's got, you know, it'll have a membrane membrane keyboard, you don't really want to get that wet. So it looks like a couple of screws, then unclip, and then you can pull it apart. So I'll give that a clean. And then... Um, I will get back onto the um, the NC two hundred. Um, the whole reason why it was pulled apart was, like I said, was to try and replace the the floppy drive with the GoTech. Uh, so yeah, I might um, yeah I'll give this a start on this again. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Good on you, mate.
last thing I might do is um because I have actually so the keyboards are basically the same, but you'll notice they're not interchangeable. NC two hundred, NC one hundred. So ribbons are in different places. So <laughs> identical keyboard, but you can't just interchange them. Um, I'll put those aside. Let me get the NC one hundred motherboard. And we can have a quick look. So, I can, oh, okay, this pretty much comes out. Okay, so this takes, uh, looks like D's maybe. Is it D? No, C. C's. It takes uh, C batteries. Well, it's got a floppy drive. Whereas the NC100 takes A batteries, as I found out, because I left them in there. But, um, yeah, totally, totally different layout as well. So, you know, we've got the SRAM card on this side in the NC100 and on that side on the NC200. Yeah, there we go. Interesting. Well, neat, neat little machines. Um, I just kind of got stuck on mine. So I might have to pull undo the uh, the things there and get them oh, oh, the plastic come, oh, plastics coming out so yeah okay get the plastic out give that a clean take that off give that a clean there's the ROM apparently you can change that so I never knew that that's very interesting so there we go let's see how I go